Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. As you can see, I'm in front of the machine. I built it myself six or five years ago. Um, uh, the model for this one is MSI H110i Pro. You might have another model. The process we're going to do is similar for any other brand, but this is the one I have. So the problem I'm having is when I turn on the machine, right away, I see this screen, enter password. So as you can imagine, I don't have the password. I don't remember it. So I cannot access the BIOS, I cannot go to the operating system, whether it is Windows or Linux, I cannot do anything. So we cannot do anything with software, we have to do something with hardware. So now we are going to turn off the machine, as you can see me doing over here. Now um, I'm going to, allow me a few seconds to adjust the camera, I'm going to disconnect it from the power. And I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So now that I have opened it, you can see all the dust here. So um, this motherboard, this case is very is small, is for a mini ITX motherboard. So I need to remove this part over here. So you might not, you might not need to do that, so, but I, I do. And, and the cable management is terrible. <laughs> That's not the point of the videos. That doesn't affect in any in in any way. So you can see the power supply over there is very dusty. And uh, I'm lucky that I don't need to remove the power supply because what I need to do it's visible uh, from this part of the motherboard. So your motherboard might be different, might be in, in a different um, location, um, but. In my case, I own, and this is the part I need. So as you can see, we have we see four pins over here. The two at the tops are the one that we are interested in. As you can see, it says JBAT over there. So with a plain head a screwdriver, we have to short these two pins. We have to make a bridge between them. We have to connect them. Okay, so that's the process. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the manual, for the link for the manual for this uh, motherboard, so you can see it in more detail there. So let's say my my, do, my two fingers are the two pins that we are going to work on, and with the plain head screwdriver, you had to make them connect. You had to make them touch each other. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. As you can see over here, it, they're very small, so. Uh, it needs some practice. So as you can see, I'm making, uh, I, connect the, I connect them both. So leave it like that for five to, ten, to 10 seconds. And after that, that's pretty much it. That should be it. So now we are going to go back and we're going to connect the power to the, to the power supply over here. So once we do that, let's go to the front and we're going to turn on the machine one more time like that. And this time is going to take a little longer. I sped up the video here. Um, it's going to take longer than a regular reboot or restart or when you turn on the machine, okay? Uh, okay, so after a few seconds, you're going to see this screen. You can read all that, but what we are interested in is this part. All settings were reset to default values, okay? So that kind of work. And you have two options. I'm going to go, I'm going to press F2 because I want to continue to the operating system. And while we're, we are waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you. Thank you very much. So after a few seconds, we're going to see the MSI screen. And now we have to select Win uh, Linux Mint because that's the oper operating system that I, that I have. You might have Windows. Doesn't make a difference. The process is the same. So after a few seconds, we are finally in the login screen. So that's how you reset the password, the, the BIOS password for this machine. So you might want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.